Shall we begin? Starting the fire, got a hickory log on there already. It's wet, so it'll be a uh, steaming. Got plenty of untreated, unpainted cardboard in the bottom to get her started with, so it doesn't change the flavor of anything. All right, flames have died down. Got some nice coals down in there. And she's smoking big time. So, go ahead and close that. There's our two hams. Fat appropriately trimmed off. Extra skin appropriately trimmed off and preloaded ready to go Get the hams in here and as you can see it's really giving her a rip now just so that these I hate this light just so that these don't get done too fast I'm putting a lid on it, but it's not sealed. I'm not putting the lid on it. As you can see, there's a open seal because the for one the the ham the one ham is too tall. So about four hours like that. Got about a half a fifth of Jack Daniels in the bottom of the pan. Hickory smoke treaching away. Smells incredible. Doesn't look like the lid's gonna close. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to do this one without the lid. So I'm gonna have to get some aluminum foil to put on it. There we go. All buttoned up. And she's blowing it out the stack now. over here and kind of dial down the dial down the air vent a little bit to keep the fire from burning up too fast and in about at about lunch time today these things should be ready to pull out of here and eat Take this opportunity to tell you guys Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you have a happy holiday. We're gonna have a good one. Thanks for watching. 5 a.m. It's been cooking for over an hour. I just turned the ham and we're smoking them some more it'll probably be done by 11 o'clock now on these particular hams they had a lot of fat and as you can see I trimmed off all the fat I continuously just spoon the Jack Daniels all over the meat the whole time it's cooking I've also made a glaze for both of these to give it a little sweetness. The ham like this is fine, but there's going to be more than just me eating off of it. So we're putting a glaze on it too. The glaze is uh, it's one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of ground cinnamon, and 
a cup and a half of water. Boil it on the stove for five minutes. Keep it stirred the whole time. There's your glaze. Comes out perfect every time. Okay. 5.30 in the morning. I've got my glaze and an uncooperative work light. It was actually supposed to be a grill light. But you can see it's nice and dark. Now the sugar in this and the alcohol should mix quite nicely. You can see it's got kind of a, a sticky kind of an adhering property to it so that's what we're gonna stick on the ham and I got to do this before it gets cold because if it gets cold it's gonna turn into like candy and we don't want that because it'll be hard to get out of the pan too then so I'm gonna go ahead and soup this up Sweep some more of the Jack Daniels back over top of everything so it's got all that flavor just baking into it or smoking into it and I'll show you the final product when it's all done. Okay. All right, it's done. But we're gonna, it doesn't look like much now because of the, the glazing and everything on it, but wait till I slice this thing open. Pure epic goodness. And we got another one yet. They are delicious.